Yep, we're good. Ready? Sure. All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Today is a very special video. We are doing a uh, Tanner Drives on the new, uh, Corey's new Elantra N. And uh, yeah, he just got it actually. Uh, we posted the video of him, or us going and buying it last week. So before we actually go to drive it, we're gonna talk about like the differences between the Veloster and this car and kind of why he uh, decided so. So yeah, what, like, what really led you? What was your like main inspiration, I guess, to getting this? Uh, convenience. And I, this is the this is actually the actual car I wanted when they came out with the Veloster and was a four door. I wanted a sedan. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's definitely more of a family car. You can follow us, Joey. Yeah, I uh, overall I, I like this a lot more. The Veloster kind of always freaked me out. What do you mean? Just I don't know the weird like the it, three door concept. Yeah, is uh, different. Yeah, it was too different. I, I wasn't I wasn't ready for it. The rims look pretty similar. They're, yeah, they have contrast cut. Yeah. Overall, though, it, it looks really nice. So, same motor, right? Yeah, 2 0 turbo. And uh, the real big thing that makes this different than your car or the Veloster was the, uh, the automatic transmission. Yeah, it's right? an 8 speed. 8 speed? Eight speed. T DCT. DCT. Yeah, it's, uh, I've ridden in it. I haven't driven it. So, but I do know it is pretty, pretty fast. Um, oh, I, a few features I wanted to talk about exterior wise is. The spoiler, having the like uh, the rear hatch spoiler like being up really high Integrated. on that style of yeah. car, kind of sim similar to like the um, Honda Type R and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I don't. They look cool, but you gotta. I feel like you kind of have to look for them. They don't really stand out as much as I would want a spoiler yeah. in terms of style, anyway. But yeah, this, this spoiler uh, looks pretty good. Yeah, uh, let's uh, talk about the interior real quick. Okay. So, I noticed the seats in this car are way more... Bolstered? Yeah, way more bolstered, way more buckety. I feel like they're gonna you know, hold you a lot better. Um, and the, if you guys can see this, the, like, the center console, like, it's very uh, driver oriented, which I like. Um, yeah. Oh, and you just got a tinted too. Yeah. Yeah. This is not factory. Uh, not factory tint. Um, so, what are your plans with it? Like, are you wanting to just keep it how it is, or are you wanting to put the same lap three tune, or maybe have they worked on tunes for this uh, this car yet? Yeah, there's tunes for this. It's pretty much the same thing, but there's a little bit more power output because of the new updated turbo they have in, on these. Okay. Alrighty, well, I'd say uh, we're getting ready to go drive it. Real quick, uh, cut to some beauty shots of it, and then we're gonna get into the car. We gotta get some GoPro set up. I got the key. Time to go have some fun. B-roll first. First thing that comes with driving a future car is the uh, push button start. Not something I'm used to, but something I can get used to. Put that up. Okay, so yeah, right now we are in the standard driving mode. Uh, we're gonna drive with that for a little bit and then get it switched over to sport mode once we get onto some better roads. Thank you. 
seems to be handling the bump. The uh, road's pretty well. Pretty comfortable. Not uh, knocking me around too aggressively. So in this car, there's four driving modes total, but you can customize each one so that you actually have a lot of options when it comes to, you know, suspension, uh, stiffness, motor performance, uh, and things of that nature. And right now we're in the normal driving mode, so everything is gonna be pretty, like even across the board. And then if you click the left paddle here, you have normal, sport, and you heard the exhaust kick up. So now that's gonna be a little bit more poppy and aggressive. Um, and then you can switch to eco mode and of course it's going to bring all that down and kind of chill everything out and I'm pretty sure the suspension would get a little bit softer in this mode as well. And then if you uh, want to have fun, click this one over here on the right side. Now we're in end mode so everything is going to be in like its you know, most aggressive form. And then you get the burbles. One thing I'll say I really like about end mode is it's actually displaying me right now the oil temp, uh, engine coolant temp, turbo boost pressure, and uh, torque in foot pounds. And uh, it's kind of nice to have that information on hand, especially when you're driving a little aggressive. Now this car, when it comes to the brakes, uh, they're bigger than the standard Elantra uh, brake calibers. They're more fit for like a Sonata, you know, full-sized uh, sedan car. And the pad compound actually is more set up for, you know, it's more of a performance compound. It can handle more heat, stuff like that. So when you get on the brakes, it's, it's pretty serious. The chassis on this car as well has also been welded more, uh, more stitch welds and everything like that. So. It's actually more rigid than the standard Elantra. And that just is part of the end line because this thing, they're more set up for performance. Curvy road. And these seats, especially in hard turns like this, I mean, I feel pretty planted in this thing. I would, uh, I'd like to take this thing to like a track or something and actually see what these seats can, see how well they hold you. So far though, everything seems, you know, performance wise is really nice and matched with this interior. It's like, it's kind of the uh, full package. Yeah, that'll do. Power delivery feels really good. You know, I was gonna say, I uh, never really looked into the Hyundai line. Well, I used to work at Kia, so they were always kind of in my like peripheral view, but I never really considered them to be a performance brand or luxury. But after driving this and uh, Corey's old Veloster, it's definitely, you know, I'm starting to put it put these cars up in that bracket and uh, you know a lot of people overlook them and maybe you have too but I, uh, I definitely wouldn't anymore these things are getting pretty cool if you guys are subscribers to the channel and you've noticed a bump up in quality make sure to hit that uh, like button and comment below on what you think of it um, and if you're new to the channel we're going to be doing lots more of these videos this summer, and also we are going to be putting out some moto vlogs here soon once the weather gets nice. So stick around for that. Those should be pretty fun. And yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, if you're uh, still here.
had so much fun. I know we were talking about interior, but let's not forget to mention the exterior. The color of this car, the color name for it is actually Intense Blue. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty accurate name. This thing is insane, especially when the sunlight hits it. I'd get in trouble owning this thing. I'd, uh, I'd definitely get my license taken away if I had this thing. Now, because this car is a car of the future, it has launch control. And uh, we're gonna give that a test right now, actually. Just gotta make a quick right turn into Mexico and uh, then we'll be all set. If you guys want to learn how to launch this car in launch control, go check out our shorts because we're going to be putting out a short of how to do that very shortly. So to get to launch control, hit the star button, swipe over, activate it. We're going to push the brake as hard as we possibly can. Jesus Christ. Wow. Holy crap. They kind of like, in, Fast, in the Fast and Furious movies when they hit NOS and then everything's like and the roads like shoot out. That's what that felt like. Yeah, I like it. The uh, power delivery is pretty smooth. The drive modes are sick. Um, yeah, you got a good car. Thanks. All right, well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, We're gonna have to redo that again. What? Sorry, I accidentally tripped. I tripped and fucking <laughs> <the roof laughs> went down. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, now I want one. Great. If uh, you guys like this video, go make sure to check out all of our other content. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot more of these this summer, so make sure to subscribe, click the bell icon for notifications on future uploads. And yeah, we'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.